Tamer Willie is a young aspiring filmmaker from the northern Israeli town of Majd el Shams. His uh, short films take advantage of the town's unique environment and atmosphere, and uh, some have gone viral on Facebook, reaching thousands and thousands of viewers. Tamer is uh, now with us from Majd el Shams. Hi, Tamer. Thanks for hosting me, and I'll be happy to answer all of your questions. So let's start with Majd el Shams. What makes Majd el Shams, where you live, such a good location to film in? Well, I think what makes this town uh, so unique for filming and we're using it as a film set is the location itself because it's located about 1,400 meters above sea level on the foothills of Mount Hermon and the heat itself gives it a great landscape. And the fact that this small town has a snowy environment in the winter in such a warm country, that gives, the, uh, that gives me as a filmmaker a great opportunity to use it like, for making such an amazing winter cinematography, especially in the snow. So I think that's what makes it unique. It, it sure is. It is also your goal to showcase the beauty of your city? Well, of course. I mean, I mean, I was born here and I grew up here, so of course that's something that I want to do. Because as a filmmaker, I got the power to actually send a message and show people things that they have never seen about this place before. I mean, it's a small town in the middle of nowhere. A lot of people don't know anything about it. So that gives me an opportunity and a chance to actually show them the good stuff about this stuff. Because, you know, in the media, they just hear some lies most of the time. And they only show the bad things that happen over here. But there are so many beautiful things that happen over here that's nobody shining light on. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Right, right. Now, let's talk about you for a second. What's your background? Where did you get the experience? Did you even go to film school? Well, I moved to Berlin, Germany about a year and a half ago and I was learning German because I was planning to go into film university and I needed German skills to be able to do that. Then I moved to Warsaw, Poland and I was also learning Polish. So uh, in the, the year and a half that I spent over there, I did not study anything that's related to the film industry and the cinema. I was just learning language. But now I'm planning to go back to Europe again to try to find a film school that suits what I need. And that's when I'm gonna go into the film business and the film industry and start studying it for the first time. Well, you know, if you asked me this question about a year and a half ago, I would probably say yes, because you know, money is what defines success in 2016, and you know, you need money to make money in this time. But actually, like at one point, I realized that money doesn't loses its value when you actually find something that you cannot buy, no matter how much money you have. And that's the, that's the time when I realized that money is actually just something. I mean, of course it is important to have money because without money you will not be able to like move forward in your career. But I don't think money is the motive why, I went, why I'm going to this film industry. I'm actually going in it for influence itself, just like the title of my last film. Because being influential means you can change things in the world. It doesn't matter what you do. I mean, it, as a filmmaker, I can actually make a film that's gonna influence people, that's gonna send a message, that's gonna give them an idea, that plants an idea in their head, make them change things about the way they live. And that's something that, the, that motivates me to go into the film industry because it gives you that influence to, to make things better. That's, that sounds wonderful. Your last film, Influence, uh, really got noticed with almost 160,000 views. Let's uh, watch a moment from it. Are you paying attention? Let me tell you my story. I was an ordinary man from a small village called Majd al Shams. A mountainous village in the middle of nowhere. I spent all my life minding my own business. Until that miserable day, I fell in love with an outlaw. She turned me into an assassin who spends his days and nights hunting people for money. I was completely devoted to her until that day she decided to betray me for the prize money over my head. They call me a killer, a monster, a terrorist. I am all of these things, but I wasn't always like this. Looks very interesting, Tamer. Why do you think people responded to it so much? Well, I think the reason people liked my last film more than the others is because they felt related to it. I mean, as you watch the film, you probably know that it's about revenge, but that's not true. The film itself is about influence, and that's from the title itself. Because at some point in our life, we meet that person that influences our life, either in a good or in a bad way. 
but sometimes their influence is very bad that you just want to break through out of that influence all, all over your life so what you saw in my film that that guy is trying to take revenge and trying to break through and set his, himself free from that influence that girl had all over his life so I think that's why people liked it because they felt related to it and that's something that they went through at some point in their life mm -hmm. and what's uh, next for you what are you working on now well, I have a film going on, it's called Behind Blue Eyes that I'm working on. I started filming this, but I had to delay it because the weather conditions did not support it at the time, it was getting cold. But I'm planning to go back to working on it as soon as the weather gets better. And I'm also going back to uh, Germany, so I'm thinking about making something with the European culture so I can have a bigger audience and like, relate to more people and bring, like, grow my audience bigger. Well, we'll uh, definitely keep an uh, eye out for it. Tamo, thanks so much uh, for your time and best of luck. Well, thank you for interviewing me. I was happy to do this and take care. Thank you.